Hello everyone, this is Lion75 5Y again um, from XDA Developers and PPCGeeks.com. Uh, this is my last video, part number four. And then um, I was showing you on my tutorial how to set up Airview's kitchen so you can start cooking for, uh, new ROMs for your devices and everything. Um, so we got, we company on my background, we got Slacker Radio with a background music. So I left, I left on explaining how to uh, finish everything, um, how to run the kitchen and everything, how to start cooking your rum though. Well, um, once you guys have finished um, putting everything inside the OM, the rum, the sys, and the EXT folders. So once you guys have everything set up, like I said on my last video, just run this Airbus Kitchen application again. And you guys remember from my first video, it shows, I told you guys not to mess with this because we only dumped the file and everything. So we're gonna start working on this part on top though. So right here where it says device, uh, that's where it shows our device name and everything. So like I'm working with volume, uh, I click on it, just click OK. And then it comes up with all our packages names and everything. And then like I said was, uh, you guys can click up here so you guys can change the six, the sys and the zip and the ext. Like, so I was setting up my kitchen, I was working on 21901. Always make sure that you guys have the xip and the sys field with the same number. Because if not, there might be an error or something. Um, right here with this ROM version, you guys can put your version. Or you guys can put your name or anything that you guys like. So for example, I'll just put like Lion 75 y That's what we'll show on the actual first splash screen when you guys run your, your uh, ROM and are ready to install it to your device. That's what we'll show the name of it. Then... As you guys can see, we're gonna have, an, by default, we're gonna have XIP, which is the OM, OM zip kernel and the MS zip kernel. Um, these ones, you guys um, don't mess with it. You know, everything has to go into your ROM so it can be able to run. Uh, the ones that you guys can modify, like remove programs that you guys don't want or stuff like that, is when it starts saying like your device name and external packages. From here going on, you guys can like um, add or take out, you know, applications that you guys don't need. For example, let's say if I don't want a camera, I just double click on it. And you guys see, it shows a gray, it shows gray color in, instead of the green, and it shows false. So, like, my camera is not gonna be included on my ROM if I don't want that. If you want it back, just double click again, and it shows green and it shows true though. So that means that it will be included in your ROM. So if you know you guys can mess with it, like see you know which one, which applications you guys want in there, which ones you don't want, and um, once you guys have are finished editing everything up here, you guys will need to click uh, Real Windows Mobile 6.5 because um, I'm cooking with the 6.5 Windows Mobile, and then. We're gonna click the LCX compression so you know your ROM can be smaller and not like you know four or five hundred megabytes. So with the LCX compression it makes it a lot smaller though. Um, the XIP OM and says uh, never click on this ones so you guys can see you know what you guys are installing. And like I say on my second video I believe is uh, make sure that you guys got like dummy FW update, dummy SQM and the Winsels WWE. These three ones are really important and you guys need to have in the OM folder. Um, these ones are really important so your ROM can be um, can be working and everything. Though. So after you are done with all this with your um, customization with your ROM and everything like which applications you guys want and everything um, 
then you guys will need to use click create ROM and then you guys are ready to go though um, right here you, you guys don't mess with this like you know device ID and stuff like that uh, in case I because it happened to me before in case that this doesn't show the device ID and the chunk number um, uh, looks like you you know you guys didn't do something right so I will suggest you use uh, erase everything and you know start over again because uh, this should show by default though. I mean you guys can still you know write down the uh, device ID name and number but you know it's like a lot of hassle and everything you know it's a lot of pain so that you guys do every time but I mean uh, I would recommend you to again you know the more you do it you know the better that you know what you're doing and everything so after you guys are done with this just hit create ROM and if everything is successful and everything you should you know add all the packages and everything uh, this process is longer than the uh, dumping on this one it should take like around like 8 to 10 minutes I mean it just depends on you know how big is your ROM and everything and then how much stuff are you putting in so once you guys finish all this then um, it will actually you will actually need a um, so on, on some uh, kitchens comes already with the actual um, uh, running or room up update utility that's what they call it sorry um, it comes with all these files already so you guys don't need to get them but in case you guys don't have them just look for the ROM update utility and so once the and then just put them up here though where it says release volume or your device name and then it says release release and device name sorry just put all, the, all those files up here like I, I got all my files up here so once it finished it will create an NBH file though the kitchen once it's finished and it will automatically um, run your run up the utility program so with this one once it's finished um, it can you know automatically be installed in your ROM and everything so I mean in your device so you know it can be ready to be run and you know tested to see if everything is working right so um, looks like I'm done with my tutorial thanks for watching guys this is again lion 75y from um, XDA developers and PPC geeks in case that you guys got any questions uh, let us know just leave comments read it um, subscribe to my page or you know just look for information in our webpage so on XDA developers or ppcgeeks.com um, you know really um, other than that thanks to everyone and um, hope, hope I made you know this tutorial easy the easiest that I could make it you know and and then understandable for everyone so again thanks this is land 75y thank you bye bye